engineer. Yes, I know, another collectibles trophy rant, but this time I did at least put it on the other show, and not the main one. And I know I'm at risk of repeating myself with the same complaints about multiple collectible types in video games, and I do hate to focus on those a lot of the time, however, I do think this one is extra bullshit, as it commits the worst crime a collectibles trophy can commit. Well, thinking about it, Callisto Protocol actually commits two of the worst crimes a collectible trophy can commit against an unsuspecting oh player. Oh Enter the God. Grim Reaper trophy for harvesting and reading all of the implant bios. So this collectible has a total of 43 of them for you to find spread out across the game's eight or so chapters and thankfully it's a short game but Unfortunately, you can't skip cutscenes, so you will be forced to re-watch them if you go for these on a second playthrough. The game is fairly linear, in fact it's really linear, but since there's no waypoint marker like in Dead Space which tells you exactly where the story path is, there can be a few occasions where you will lock yourself out of one of the collectibles when you go down the wrong corridor at a junction and suddenly the door seals shut behind you. However, the two biggest problems here with this trophy are that some of the collectibles are glitched in that they either don't appear in the room they should be in, forcing you to reload the checkpoint to fix the problem, which is only a fix if you are using a guide and know it should be there in the first place, because if you were just looking for them blindly, which I'd wonder why you were torturing yourself doing it that way, but still, then you would simply assume that the room didn't contain any collectibles and not look there again. Another glitch happens to randomly remove some of the collectibles you found or simply not add them to the found list as you pick them up, so you'll need to watch out for that too, being sure to make plenty of manual saves and read and listen to each collectible in the menu when you find them, hoping that it actually has registered them. But despite those annoying glitches that can easily ruin your run and force another playthrough, the biggest problem with these collectibles is that they are missable. Yep, there is no chapter select or new game plus, so that means you have to find all 43 in a single playthrough. Well, mine glitched and unlocked the trophy of 42 found, but if it was working right, you'd have to find all of them in a single run without fail. Plus, remember those glitches I mentioned earlier? Yeah, good luck with that, and remember to make plenty of backup saves and hope that if you do have to reload one, that all of the collectibles you found before that save are still marked as found. <sighs> so, while 43 isn't that many collectibles to get, there are lots of annoying factors that make this trophy bullshit, and quite frankly, no game with collectibles should require them all in one room, especially if there is no chapter select to easily pick up the ones you just happen to miss. Without that, it just feels like a lazy attempt to extend the runtime and a lack of foresight on the devs part. It's annoying that the game doesn't make this clear until you complete it and realise there's no new game plus or chapter select, though I do think they're going to patch new game in, in after the new year. The description should have at least stated grab all collectibles in a single run because quite frankly nobody wants to do another full playthrough of a game collecting all of the collectibles just to get the trophy because they only ended up with 40 out of 43 on their first run. It's just bullshit and so is this trophy. <laughs>